you for a job? Pretty much everyone, right? And how many of you expect to have an interview for a job in the future? Probably just about everybody. Um, according to Forbes, the average interview takes about 40 minutes. So you only have 40 minutes to prove that you deserve the job. That's not a lot of time. Um, so it's really important that you're prepared for the interview. And I want to inform you about the interview so you can be better prepared. Um, interviewing is an important part to just about everyone's career. Um, and it is crucial to prepare for them. In my speech, I will discuss how to dress for an interview, what questions could be asked at an interview, what questions you should ask the interviewer, um, some general tips and reasons why people don't get the job, and then also how to close your interview. So the first impression you make in an interview is how you look. So what I say is dress to impress your grandma. You want to be conservative in your clothing and you want to be very professional looking. Make sure your clothes are clean and pressed. Uh, look professional. Shower in the morning. Don't use cologne, perfume, or aftershave. And then brush your teeth before an interview and do not eat or smoke after that. Um, for women, you should wear a dark suit or a skirt with a skirt or pants. Uh, generally a skirt, but pants are becoming more acceptable. I wouldn't wear a skirt, personally, because I don't like them. Um, your clothes should fit well. You should wear a conservative blouse. Makeup and nail polish should be understated and, again, conservative. Uh, no flashy jewelry. Keep it minimum. Um, your shoes should be low-heeled, and you should wear hose to match your skin. Usually you should bring an extra pair, um, and your hair should be conser conservatively styled. Uh, men should wear a dark suit with a matching jacket and pants, a light dress shirt, a tie, coordinating socks and dress shoes. A resident in my building actually got denied access to a um, engineering job fair because he wasn't wearing a suit. So you should definitely have one. All right, good. So my uh, presentation is titled How to Become President of the United States, AKA POTUS. And um, I'm basically gonna go over the official rules the official steps and how the process has changed through time. So the three official rules in order to uh, be president are citizenship, age, and residency. Citizenship, citizenship says that you must be a natural born citizen of the United States or both of your parents had to have been born in the United States if you were born in a different country, uh, Canada for example. Coming up in the 2016 election, a guy named Ted Cruz is going to be running for president. He was born in Canada, but both of his parents were born here, so he can run for president. Um, age, uh, this is one of the answers that would be on the quiz. The, the minimum age is 35 to become president. And residency, you must uh, have lived in the United States for at least 14 years. Now, that's kind of vague, and luckily this hasn't been questioned yet in any uh, president in any presidential election, because uh, uh, some people wonder whether those 14 years have to be consecutive or if they can be cumulative uh, over an, over a period of time. Okay, so those were the highlights of the informative speeches 2.0, if you could say. Uh, next, we move on to persuasives. Yes, and in the persuasive speeches, we saw a lot of improvement. There was so much growth, a lot more attention given to the way you actually look when you're giving a presentation, the way you dress, the way you stand, the formality of presentation really seemed to wake up in these uh, presentations, and also clarity, a lot more clarity. Indeed. We'll see you next week.